Hello, Blood on Song 10. I'm back for another fanfiction reading. Uh, this is this is one I'm just gonna do alone this time. It's it's a Link X Navi, that and I I honestly don't know how Navi is pronounced. I've just pronounced it Navi all my life since I played Ocarina of Time. I've heard it pronounced Navi, Navi, but one of the dumbest ones I've heard is Navy. I'm getting sidetracked. Let's go ahead and get onto this. It's called Hey, listen, I love you. And it's on fanfiction.net post. Big number. Yeah, okay. Let's get on with this. It's a lemon. You've been warned. Okay, uh, there's a disclaimer. Disclaimer bullshit. Okay. There's an explicit sex scene, but that's what we're looking for. For to. Uh, Navi is a tiny humanoid with wings and magic powers. Oh. And this is their first fan fiction. Ooh, this is gonna be juicy. Okay. Link was depressed. That's D I P R E S S E D. Depressed. His best friend was missing, so he vowed that he would do anything to get his friend back, even if it meant that he had time to travel again. Travel. Travel. Come on. The spell check exists, you know. Travel is not spelled T A T R A V L E. Travely again. Or a traverse and a parallel. A parallel world. <laughs> Foreshadowing. <laughs> okay, that's. Uh, thank you. I would have never known that was foreshadowing without you saying so. He had. He just had to say goodbye to Saria and had to go on back to his treehouse to <laughs> get a few belongings when Link he froze what was that? had she come back? oh shh <clears throat> Navi had come back char uh, charging into the open doorway not that there was a door and crashed into Link sending him flying headfirst and onto his bed ow N Navy is that you? <laughs> yes, Link. It's me. I'm sorry I left. I don't know what came over me, N N Navi said. Well, where did you go, said Link. Well, I was thinking about us and all that time we spent together fighting Ganondorf. And I never said... Never said what? Link asked. Never said, Link, I think I love you, said Link's best friend and fairy. W w what You l love me? You mean as a friend or more? I'm, s I'm expecting the next line to say, I like like you, Link. Yeah. I love you more than just a friend, Link. 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 Yeah. I've had these feelings for a long time now. And deep down, deep inside of my fairy body, I think you felt this way also. <laughs> Link could not believe what he was hearing, yet he also could not say he didn't feel it before, but he had just assumed that, you know, his dick probably wouldn't fit inside of a fairy. I'm sorry, that's not really what it says. But he had just assumed that it was a crush. Besides that, she was a fairy, and he was a human. A helium! How could they not? How could they be together? They could never heard of interspecies marriage before. <laughs> oh God! I swear, the best part about these fan fictions is just all the misspellings and the shitty grammar, and all that stuff. It's just so great. Well, I guess. I mean, I've never really. <laughs> she cut him off by pressing her whole head against his lips. Uh, oh, it's another case of the war. Mm. Navy, she broke off. Yes, she asked. Never mind, he whispered and kissed her back. The lips still touching. I thought his lips were like going over her head or something like that. The lips still touching. Link put his hand up as if, as if to what, like, what, raise the roof? Okay, Link put his hand up as if to stroke her hair, 
I remember how tiny he was, she was. He stopped an inch away and instead felt her wings lightly brush against his fingers. He enjoyed the feeling. She did as well. Still kissing, Navi flew over, forcing him to take a few steps backward, and he tripped over onto the bed. <laughs> Navy? Shh. It okay? Just lay back and I'll take care of the rest. Okay, have you guys has anybody out there seen the Legend of Neil? There's there's this there's okay in episode three called it's called the Fairy's Obsession. Um, uh, Neil has sex with the fairy, and it's like, how does it work? It's like, this is like magic. Yes, it is. I don't know. It's yeah. Link fucks the fairy, and yeah. I mean, well. Neil does. If, if you haven't seen The Legend of Neil, could just go look it up now and watch it. Okay. Like, new what he... Okay. It's okay. Just leave back and I'll take care of the rest. <laughs> right. Link knew what had to come next. Mino had told him in detail to Link what happened or what he what he planned to do to Saria. This in turn with an E, by the way. In turn led to the, one of the many brawls that they often had. Okay, come on. In a, a fight, Link versus Mido, or Mido, or whatever the fuck the pronunciation is in the Zelda world, just punch that bastard in the face and he'll just be on his way, you know. It's just Mido. Okay. Also, Princess Rudo had tried to show him how to do it. This had made Link run for his life, but he had found himself turned on by the idea of him and Rudo later on. Well, Rudo's like a fish girl, I mean, maybe we'll do that next. Link x Rudo, remind me, okay? Hold on, uh, hold still, Link, she snapped her fingers. Link could feel his clothing slowly pulling off of him, first his boots, then his socks, then his underwear, that's... That's underwear, like, like a company underwear, like, underwear soft, W-A-R-E, or whatever he wore under there. Okay, if you're the writer of the fanfiction, you have to know what the character is wearing. You should, <laughs> you shouldn't be confused about it. Next came his shirt, and now he lay <laughs> in the nude. Hey. Hey, that could have come in handy when I fought Ganon. Okay, so he already fought Ganon. Oh wait, isn't he a mute? What's going on here? Okay. He said as he felt betrayed. Wait, what? What could have come in handy? Next came a shirt you lay there and then you would, hey, I thought this could have come in handy. Uh, that could have come in handy when I fought Ganon. He said as if he felt betrayed. No, I couldn't do that before. When I was when I was away, I found my true self and it unlocked a new power within me. What the fuck are they talking about? God, I t well. Link was about to object, object. Like subject but object. Yeah. Link was about to object when he saw a few items fall into his lap. He saw that they looked like doll clothes. In, <laughs> in the Legend of Neil, <laughs> in the Legend of Neil, the fairy has, uh, when the fairy takes her clothes off and Neil picks them up, they're like, they're like Barbie clothes. It's funny as fuck. Um, okay. And when he realized that, uh, and when he realized that, and when he realized that Navy was also naked, he felt his members start to grow. Moeep, 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 moeep. <laughs> okay, Navi had started playing with herself, and it was already really wet. And when a small drop from Navi landed on Link's ever-growing member, the sight sent them both into waves of ex ecstasy. That's ecstasy with a C. I like it. Uh. Navi couldn't take it anymore. She flew down and landed on Link's inner leg. She walked over till she was face to face 
Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> what do you mean? I want to know. But the Link's now fully erect member. A feeling of tiny feet walking across would make Link feel really good inside. Both, both of them knew that Link could never fit inside of her. But that wouldn't stop Navi from having fun. She smiled at Link. Then she wrapped her arms around Link. Oh my god. <laughs> she smiled at Link. Then she wrapped her wrap then she wrapped her arms around Dick. She wrapped her arms around Dick. God, Link must be really jealous of Richard right now. <laughs> Richard's getting all the action. <laughs> she wrapped her arms around No. Oh wait, she didn't even Oh my god. <laughs> she raped her arms around Dick. This is incredible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she, <laughs> okay. She found that she could get her hands to touch as if a normal person was hugging a small tree. <laughs> and she licked it and Link mound as she started to grind. <laughs> as she started to grind her pussy up against him. Good God. We get into the dirty talk now. Um, Navi then raped her legs around him. <laughs> and moved her whole body up and down his penis. Whoa, Link, you're huge. Link's eyes had rolled back, but he still chuckled at the idea of Navi comparing him to the fairy to a fairy sized penis. That's funny, like Link's dick is so small that Navi... yeah. <clears throat> Do you know how small fairies are? Like... Kinda, you know, fold your, uh, fold your thing... okay, look. Just think about like, you know, maybe four or five inches. Somewhere around the Tom Thumb level. If that can wrap it... If that can wrap its arm around your dick... Your dick's pretty damn small. Yeah, okay. Navi had been pumping up and down for a few minutes now. Both of them were nearing Cleomax. <laughs> okay. Then, then Navy had an idea. She plunged her mouth on the Link's urethral opening and made out with his cock hole. Ew. It's <laughs> gross. It's like. Oh, here we go. Next, th next thing we know, she's gonna like shove her arm in there, and it's gonna like we're gonna have like fairy fisting urethra, deep sounding navy. Okay, <clears throat> a few seconds later, she squirted all over the base of his cock and balls with her pussy juices. All this dirty talk, um, it's just ugh, gross. Okay, uh, this this was this was what sent Link over the edge, the edge, T H edge, the edge, bigs, the edge. Okay, and he came hard, shooting all over Navy's body. The the force knocked Navi back and sent her flying to the under the end of the bed. She was so sticky with cum that she came. Rolling back, her mind still foggy. Wow, that was amazing, huh, Link? <laughs> <laughs> she said breathlessly as she lay there on Link's leg. Link? She looked up to see the Link passed out of sleep, and she crossed over to his now shrinking member and dipped her hand into his hole and pulled out a hand. Oh my god, I was right. She did just deep sound his dick. <laughs> That's gross. And <laughs> pulled out a handful of his cum and snapped her fingers with the other hand. She retched with the microscopic sperm. And as she watched as a microscopic sperm, white sperm, wit, W I T E, white sperm, hovered in front of her. She snapped again. The sperm started to shrink even smaller. 
once you inside of that tour vagina with magic. I hope this works, she said hopefully. She flew over links. Oh my god. Okay, so let me tell you something else about the Legend of Neil. The fairy gets pregnant and has like a shit ton of offspring of like fucking of of Neil and fairy hybrids and <laughs> they're weird. Okay. She said hopefully and she flew over to Link's face and gave him a kiss on the cheek. I love you. The end. Okay, let's let's read this uh, um, author's note here. Well, that's it. I f I left a little something at the end in case I feel like making a new one in the future. But it doesn't. But it doesn't seem that way. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this as much as these two. <laughs> Just kidding. Read and review. No flames or swearing, please. So by no flames, this person obviously means. No constructive criticism. None. Uh, I don't want to read the rest of this. It's just... It's, it's hard to read. Anyway. That was it. That was the fan fiction. That was the fan fiction. As, that was the Link X Navi fan fiction. And... Good God. That was it. That was just the Link X Navi fan fiction. That was it. That's it. Hi. Um, okay, so now, uh, if you guys are sticking around, um, this is me back after a long time of not being back. I've spent at least two months off of YouTube. Uh, I've been out doing stuff, and here, after the 4th of July, I'm going to be getting a job um, at Safeway, doing, like, Safeway things. You know, that's going to be great. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to have money to go and do other stuff. So I might be spending a lot of time off of YouTube. And uh, Dead Hands. Dead Hands is kind of in the hole right now. We're not really able to do anything without a flashcard. We want to, um, but we can't. And besides, Jacob's out on a... He's out on his journey from uh, Hobbiton to Mordor. And we can't really get a hold of them right now anyway, even if we want to like do something over Skype. So for now, I guess enjoy enjoy the videos that are there. Uh, if you haven't seen Alone with Applejack, I highly suggest you watch that. It's definitely worth uh, the visit because you can get a few good laughs out of that, quite a few. If you haven't seen um, the Yaoi fan fiction, the uh, Link X Macau, uh, definitely check that one out too, it's pretty great. Thank you for watching this video as well, and if you are here to listen to the, if you're here to listen to the update, I thank you for that as well. Um, you guys have a wonderful summer. <laughs>